Rosehip oil is everywhere. It's an ingredient that is now seen all over the cosmetic industry. Companies are coming up with more and more bottles that say rosehip on the front of the bottle. But what is rosehip and what are the benefits of it? What scientifically proven benefits does rosehip have to our skin? Let's figure that out. As called in the cosmetic industry, rosehip is a common name used for the dried fruits from the plant called rosa canina, dog rose. Rosa canina belongs to the rosa cae family. There are over 100 species in that family and the properties in the plant vary depending which plant, which species are you using? The herb grows wild in many places, like in Turkey, in northern east Portugal, across Europe, in the Middle East, Asia and North America. Rosa canina fruits, commonly called rose hips, have been used for centuries as a natural medicinal ingredient. The common name rose hip can still mean a lot of things. There are 15 different ingredients that you can get from the plant Rosa Canina and they are all marketed as rose hip. All of them have different names on the inky list on the back of the product as well as slightly or very different benefits. I will tell you how the 15 different ingredients which you can get from Rosa Canina, rose hip, differ to each other shortly. But first, I will tell you why rose hip used in cosmetics is so good to our skin. Rose hips are scientifically proven to contain a huge amount of vitamin C unsaturated fatty acids, natural antioxidants, and natural vitamin A. It also contains some vitamin E and phenolic acids. The chemical composition of rosa canina fruit differs, depending on the growing region and climate. Depending on the ingredient used from the rosa canina herb, the benefits and uses of topical application vary. The benefits and uses of topical application are humectant. What does that mean? It means a substance, in this case rosa canina based ingredient, in a product that is used to reduce the loss of moisture Humectant ties water to itself and helps to moisture the skin. Can also lock the moisture better into the skin. That is what humectant means. Another use is exfoliant. Third one is fragrance ingredient. Fourth one is emollient. And what is that? It's a softening ingredient that helps to lock moisture into the skin cosmetic as stringent and that helps to blur the appearance of pores but it's not scientifically proven there are a lot more claims on rose hip but a lot of them are in theory possible but they haven't been proven at least not yet these benefits that haven't been technically proven yet but are used for marketing are acne, aged skin, scarring, wounds, stretch marks and benefits against free radicals. We will talk about that a little bit further in the video. So let's see the benefits of the compounds that are in rosehip, one at a time. The benefits of vitamin C. Vitamin C applied topically onto the skin has been proven to help combat damage from ultraviolet radiation to improve hyperpigmentation, 
helpful in boosting up collagen production in the deeper layers of the skin. But it is also known that when applied topically, vitamin C is not that stable. It degrades easily and because vitamin C is water soluble, it has hard time penetrating the skin's barrier. Producing a skincare product where the vitamin C is still active and can penetrate the skin deep enough to work, like it's proven to work, is really challenging. This is the reason why only the fact that an ingredient, like rosa canina fruit, has a lot of natural vitamin C isn't still an indicator that the vitamin C can deliver the benefits of it because of these difficulties. Rosehip contains a lot of unsaturated fatty acids like linoleic acid, alpha-linoleic acid and oleic acid. The benefits of unsaturated fatty acids in rosehip are Linoleic acid is scientifically proven to increase hydration in skin's epidermis and significantly improve skin barrier dysfunction. Alpha-linoleic acid has been scientifically proven to significantly improve dry eyes, but topical application of alpha-linoleic acid is not researched on humans. Alpha-linoleic acid has proven to have a lot of benefits orally eating as a supplement. These benefits help to fight against UV-induced photodamage, skin aging and inflammatory skin responses. Antioxidants in rosehip. Rosehip contains a lot of antioxidants like docoperol and carotenoids. The benefits of antioxidants. Potentially when applied topically onto the skin can help your skin in storing some of its own antioxidant equipment that gets depleted with time and age. But it's not proven that the antioxidants in rosehip oil can actually penetrate the skin and still be functional. But the antioxidants in rosehip can, in theory, do that. The benefits of vitamin A. Rosehip has proven to have natural vitamin A in it. Natural vitamin A has a different compound than vitamin A, also known as retinol, which in effective concentration and in right conditions is known to increase cell turnover, stimulate collagen production, help with wrinkles and hyperpigmentation. There are no clinical studies on natural vitamin A which would indicate how it behaves on the skin, like there is about retinol. So many times natural vitamin A is marketed to work as retinol, but there are just no studies to indicate that yet. Rosehip contains a lot of phenolic acids like p comerate acid, vanillin and vanillin acid. The benefits of phenolic acids in rosehip are Phenolic acids are proven to be anti-inflammatory which helps to fight against free radicals. Free radicals can cause damage to the skin that then speeds skin aging. Problem with this is that while the phenolic acids are proven to be anti-inflammatory, it's not scientifically proven that the phenolic acids in rosehip can penetrate the skin and maintain efficient. So in theory, they could help fight against free radicals that can be caused by stress factors like pollution, smoking and ultraviolet radiation from sunlight, which can speed up skin aging. While phenolic acids are in rosehip, 
It's not still proven that they work when applied topically onto the skin. There are not that many clinical studies when it comes to rosehip, and the compounds in it working actually on the skin or in skincare. There are a few studies that we already discussed, and here are a couple more. One study shows that rosa canina fruit oil, more often called rosehip oil, topically applied is helpful to accelerating the rate of wound healing and to approving the appearance of post-surgical scars. That is one study. One other study showed that rosa canina fruit oil topically applied can be helpful for inflammatory skin diseases like eczema, as well as dry skin. These studies kind of indicate, but not prove, that rosehip oil would be a really good moisturizing ingredient in skincare products. One study also showed that rose canina topically applied is not irritating or skin sensitizing. A lot of times you see cosmetic brands making huge claims of what a specific ingredient does in their product or in general. Sometimes these claims are true, but often the claims are something that could in theory be possible but which aren't scientifically proven. In the case of Rosa Canina, the claims are mostly sterilized from the compounds in the rosehip. Not all, but mostly. So let's see what claims are actually true and which are technically possible in theory. So there are three types of promises of the benefits. There are commercial promises, mouth-to-mouth -mouth promises and recommendation, people to people. And the third one is scientifically proven benefits. There are huge difference in these three. So let's see some common marketing claims used for rosehip or rosehip oil. Here they are. Anti-acne, anti-inflammatory, approves hyperpigmentation, anti-aging, improves cell regeneration, then anti-aging and anti-acne, improves skin elasticity, then anti-aging, improves the look of scars and stretch marks, boosts radiance, clears the skin, and moisturizing. All of these marketing claims sound really good, but it all comes to what is actually proven to be true. So what are the scientifically proven benefits of rosehip? Increase hydration in skin's epidermis, significantly improve skin barrier dysfunction, helpful to accelerating the rate of wound healing, helpful to approving the appearance of post-surgical scars, in most cases helpful for inflammatory skin diseases like eczema as well as dry skin, non-irritating or skin sensitizing. Next, let's see the benefits that kind of aren't scientifically proven yet, but the compounds can be proven to do some things in other ingredients. Helps to fight against stress factors like pollution, smoking and ultraviolet radiation from sunlight which cause free radicals that are proven to cause speeded skin aging, if vitamin C is active. Anti-inflammatory, 
helps your skin in storing some of its own antioxidant equipment that gets depleted with time and age. If the rosa canina fruit oil's phenolic acids could penetrate the skin and remain efficient, not proven in rose hips case yet, rosa canina fruit oil would be great as an anti-aging ingredient. Improves hyperpigmentation if vitamin C or A are still active. Helpful in boosting up collagen production in the deeper layers of the skin, if vitamin C is still active. Contains natural vitamin A, which could in theory help with fine lines, wrinkles, hyperpigmentation and acne scarring. Doesn't clog the pores. A lot of times rosehip is claimed to be helpful to acne, but is it really? Is rosehip beneficial to acne? A lot of times rosehip oil, rosa canina fruit oil, is marketed to be helpful with acne. There is no clinical studies to prove that to be true. In the other hand, there are indicators that in theory could make rosehip oil effectful with helping acne-prone skin. No studies still. These indicators are that linoleic acid is scientifically proven to increase hydration in skin's epidermis and significantly improve skin barrier dysfunction, so it could be helpful to reduce the formation of acne. Also, the antioxidants in rosehip oil could be helpful as anti-inflammatory, which is helpful with acne. Still, nothing isn't clinically proven. So now we know the benefits of rose hip when topically applied to the skin. But what are the 15 different ingredients that you can get from the rose canina herb? And what are the difference between them all? Let's figure that out. The 15 different ingredients of rosa canina plant are rosa canina the whole plant. Rosa canina fruit, also known as rosehip. Rosa canina fruit extract. Rosa canina fruit oil. Rosa canina fruit juice. Rosa canina bud extract. Rosa canina flower, Rosa canina flower extract, Rosa canina flower powder, Rosa canina flower oil, Rosa canina leaf extract, Rosa canina seed. Rosa canina seed oil, Rosa canina seed extract, and Rosa canina seed powder. Most common ingredients used and made from Rosa canina herb are Rosa canina fruit oil, a lot of times called rosehip oil, Rosa canina seed oil and Rosa canina fruit extract. There are also seven ingredients which aren't commonly used in the cosmetic industry. Rosa canina, the whole plant. Rosa canina fruit. Rosa canina fruit juice. Rosa canina seed. Rosa canina bud extract, Rosa canina flower oil, 
and rosa canina flower powder. There are also two ingredients, rosa mochata seed oil and rosa mosqueta seed oil that are sometimes called rosehip seed oil, but which are not from the rosa canina species, which is more frequently used in cosmetics. So how do these 15 different ingredients differ from each other, you may ask? Let's go through each of them one at a time. Rosa canina means the whole herb, the plant. Ingredient made from the whole plant, Rosa canina, is rarely used in cosmetics as is, because the other more concentrated ingredients from the herb are much more effective when used in cosmetics. Rosa canina fruit is Rosa canina herb's fleshy fruit. The fruit contains a lot of vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, unsaturated fatty acids and natural antioxidants. Not commonly used in cosmetics as is, but as cold pressed or infused. When pressed or infused, the end product is called rosa canina fruit oil. Rosa canina fruits are sold cut and seeds removed as an alternative natural treatment or to make tea out of. Some sources say you shouldn't eat or drink rose hips and some swear by it. Rosa canina fruit extract is manufactured from the Rosa caninas fruit without the achene. Now you may ask, what is achene? Achene is one kind of seed of a fruit that only has one seed. Achene doesn't have a seed coat like seeds do. Rosa canina fruit extract is manufactured using the fruits from the herb and taking off the hard, uneatable part inside of the fruit. Rosa canina fruit extract can also be manufactured by drying the fruits first, then using the dry material and mixing it to water, putylene glucol, ethanol extract, or putylene glucol extract. This is a really concentrated ingredient from Rosa canina and can be only used in small quantities. Here you can see the maximum amounts that Rosa canina fruit extract can be used in different cosmetics products. One study researched the potential skin irritation of Rosa canina fruit extract with 0.0975% concentration and it was classified as non-irritating. Rosa canina fruit oil, rosehip oil, the most used ingredient from rose hips, rosa canina herb, contains a lot of antioxidants, unsaturated fatty acids, and natural form of vitamin A, called retionic acid. Includes rosa canina herbs fruit and the seeds inside of the fruit. They are either cold pressed, heat infused or infused in a carrier oil. Cold pressed version is the most beneficial one for the skin, body, hair and nails because the fruits and the seeds haven't been heated. The heating process dilutes some of the beneficial ingredients from the fruit and makes it less effectful. Color of the oil varies from dark red to golden. The color comes from the fruit and the seeds which are reddish toned. Can be used on its own on top of your regular skincare or mixed into your moisturizer. Best used in the nighttime, but can be slightly used in the daytime too. Rosa canina fruit juice. 
not currently used in the cosmetic industry. Rosa Canina Bud Extract Not currently used in the cosmetic industry. Is used in the food supplement industry as an alternative natural treatment by mixing Rosa Canina Bud Extract drops to a lot of water. Some sources say you shouldn't eat or drink rosehip infused things, but some even make tea out of it. Rosa Canina Flower Rosa Canina Flower is the petals of the flower of the Rosa Canina herb. It's used in cosmetics to hide unpleasant scents because of its stronger natural scent. Can be used as an aromatic ingredient in cosmetics products. Rosa Canina Flower Extract not commonly used in cosmetics. Rosa canina fruit extract is much more used. Rosa canina flower extract is an extract of the flowers of the rosa canina and is highly concentrated. Here you can see what are the maximum uses of rosa canina flower extract in cosmetics products. One study researched the use of rosa canina flower extract and its potential to skin irritation or sensitization on humans. In this study, a lip balm containing 0.04% of rosa canina flower extract was tested on 106 humans. The lip balm didn't have skin irritation or sensitization potential. Same kind of study was also made using a lip liner containing 0.018% rosa canina flower extract on 202 humans. The result was the same, non-irritating. Rosa canina flower powder not currently used in the cosmetics industry. Rosa canina flower powder is obtained from the dried ground flowers of the rosa canina. Is used in the food supplement industry as an alternative natural treatment by mixing rosa canina flower powder to a lot of water. Some sources say you shouldn't eat or drink rosehip infused things. Rosa Canina Flower Oil Not currently used in the cosmetics industry. Harvested from the flowers of the Rosa Canina herb. Fragrance ingredient Could be used to cover up unpleasant scents in products because of its stronger scent. Really strong, more of an essential oil. Rosa Canina Leaf Extract Rarely used in the cosmetics industry. This ingredient is more closely related to a leaf essential oil. Rosa canina seed. Not currently used in the cosmetic industry. Inside of the rosa canina fruit, there are seeds better called as achenes. Rosa canina seeds aren't used as is but instead cold pressed or infused with the whole rosa canina fruit to make rosa canina fruit oil, better known as rosehip oil, or cold pressed as is, making rosa canina seed oil. Rosa canina seed oil, produced from the seeds of the rosa canina herb. The benefits are almost identical to the rosa canina fruit oil. Some sources say rosa canina fruit oil and rosa canina seed oil are the one and the same ingredient. Some brands just use different ways to describe the ingredient. Another source says that the fruit oil is made out of the whole fruit while the seed oil is made just from the seeds alone. Some brands may just use the seeds of the fruit in rosehip 
and some may use the whole fruit. There is just not enough data on this topic, so we can't say for sure. Rosa canina seed extract, rarely used in the cosmetic industry. Rosa canina seed extract is pressed from the seeds and is more concentrated than the rosa canina fruit oil. The effects to the skin are similar to rosehip oil. Rosa canina seed extract is used in really small quantities in cosmetics products because it's so concentrated. Known to be emollient and humectant. In lipsticks, the maximum concentrate of rosa canina seed extract is up to 1.5%. And the last ingredient, rosa canina seed powder. Rosa canina seed powder is the powder obtained from the dried ground seeds of the rosa canina herb, used as an exfoliating ingredient in the cosmetics industry. So let's talk more about the most used rosa canina ingredients and rosa canina fruit oil. Where to use rosa canina fruit oil marketed as rosehip oil? On the skin. As a face oil. Suitable for all skin types. People with oily skin tend to avoid face oils, but lighter oils like rosehip oil, are great to oily skin. Oils actually help with the oiliness too by balancing out the skin's need for water and food. The lack of either in a lot of cases costs overproduction of skin sebum or too harsh cleansing products. On the hair. As an hair oil to add moisture to the ends of the hair to tame flyaways, on nail cuticles, and on the body as a body oil. Now you may be interested how to use rosa canina fruit oil marketed as rosehip oil. You can use rosehip oil day and night. It actually works fine under makeup too. Couple drops is good to the whole face. If you apply more, your skin will feel oily for many hours. When using rosehip oil, you need to know the right skincare product order. Our skin needs both water and food. In skincare, these are water-based products, which means water, and more nutrition-rich products like oils, which means food. Oils are great food to the skin and they also lock moisture under them. But because our skin needs both water and food, you have to remember to put moisture under oils so you get both and your skin doesn't start to lack of moisture over time. The water can be either moisturizing toner, serum that is not oil based or moisturizer. You can use only one of these underneath the oil or even all. The right skincare product order is toner, essence, watery serums, moisturizer, oily serums, and lastly, rosehip oil. You definitely don't need to use all, but I'm simply saying all the categories so you know the right order to your products you are using. So what important things you should look for when buying a rosehip oil or rosa canina fruit oil? Here they are. Look for a cold pressed rosehip oil because it has a lot more beneficial compounds still in it because it hasn't been heated. If you live in Europe, look the Inca list on the back of the packaging or bottle. This Inca list will tell you the ingredients used in the product. The ingredient names are either wrote in chemical terms, in English or with Latin. 
English is not mandatory in USA, but is commonly used with mostly English words in it. If you want pure 100% only rosehip oil product, you should look for the ingredient list or ink list and check that the only ingredient in the list is rosa canina fruit oil, rosa canina seed oil or rosehip oil. Oil plants can be a good option too, but it should only include oils or extracts on the ingredient list not water, glycerin, alcohol or anything else. When buying an oil plant, you also get the benefits of the other oils, but you are using less each, so the benefits are different from using 100% rosehip oil. Now let's see some amazing rosehip skincare products so you know where to start. The Balm Balm Little Miracle Rosehip Serum. Oil plant were the number one ingredient, so the ingredient the product contains the most is Rosa Canina Fruit Oil, Rosehip Oil. It's called serum, but it's actually 100% oil. Here you can see all the ingredients that are in the product. Last six ingredients are naturally occurring in essential oils. The product has Leaping Bunny certificate and it's vegan. 100% organic, preservative free because the product doesn't contain any water, it's non-alcoholic and for all skin types. The price for this product is $24, so that is 20 euros for 30 milliliters. This product is my personal favorite skincare oil in general. I have used four bottles of this in the past couple of years. For my skin personally, this has helped to bring more moisture, help with scarring, clearing out the skin, so pimples and uneven texture, make the skin color more even and more glowy. But like I said earlier, this is mouth to mouth recommendation and all of these benefits aren't scientifically proven benefits to every person. Next, let's get into the ordinary 100% organic gold breast rosehip seed oil. As the name says, this is 100% gold breast rosehip oil, 100% organic, vegan, cruelty free, preservative free because it doesn't contain any water, non alcoholic, and for all skin types. The price for this product is $10, so that is 14 euros for 30 milliliters. The Ordinary's Rosehip Seed Oil is a really popular product among their product line, especially in Europe. The product has a great quality price range that comes from the brand's ideology to produce products with huge volume and keep the formula as well as the packaging fairly simple. So if you're looking for a pure rosehip oil but don't want to put a ton of money to it, then this is a good option for you. Next, let's see an amazing oil plant product that only has six ingredients and the first two of them are rosehip ingredients. Flow Cosmetics Rosehip Intensive Treatment Oil this is an oil plant which first two ingredients come from rosehip, rosa canina seed oil and rosa canina seed extract. Then comes two plant-based seed oils, rosemary leaf extract and vitamin E. The product is 100% organic, vegan, preservative free, because it doesn't contain any water and it's non-alcoholic. Price for this product is $36 
So that is 30 euros for 30 milliliters. Really effective and powerful face oil blend. Next, let's talk about one of my absolute favorite moisturizers. Olivia Klein Vitamin Cream. This is a quality moisturizer which base is made out of aloe vera, avocado, rosehip oil and rose flower water. Its third ingredient is rosehip oil, rosa canina fruit oil. Contains a lot of plant-based oils and extracts for all skin types, especially damaged and tired skin. The product is fragrance-free, unscented, no essential oils, it's vegan and 86% organic. The ink list on the product looks as following and as I mentioned, this product contains a lot of plant-based oils and extracts. Also because this is a moisturizer, it has some emulgator ingredients and preservatives in it. Price for this product is $27, so that is 23 euros for 50 milliliters. This moisturizer is definitely in my top 3 moisturizers of all time. It's calming, balancing, which means less pimples and texture, super moisturizing, goes well both day and night, works well under makeup and makes the skin more radiant over time. Really good moisturizer from 25 years old and up. And the last product is a little bit different kind of product because it's an eye area product. It's called Akamuti Roseberry Eye Revitalizer. Here you can see the product's ink list. The product is 100% oil blend. Oil for the eye area, which first ingredient is rosehip oil. Rosa mochata oil, another rosehip species. The product contains four other plant-based oils and chamomilla essential oil. And the product is in a roll-on bottle. Vegan, preservative-free, non-alcoholic and for all skin types. The price for this product is $18, that is 15 euros, for 12 milliliters. This is a great product for you if you have dry under eyes or if you're looking for an effectful treatment to use under your eyes for a couple months. So those were all the amazing products I wanted to mention to you. All of them are amazing and many of them I have used for years. Before I wrap this video up, it's time for a bonus round. What about rosehip as a food? Let's talk about it. Rosehip as food. According to US FDA, rosehips are generally recognized as safe for use in food for human consumption. According to US FDA, Rosa canina's petals, fruits and leaves are used in the treatment of various diseases and conditions such as eczema, itching, common cold, flu, coughing, bronchitis and biliary diseases. Rosa canina is used as a natural alternative treatment for several diseases and conditions and for those, there are several different products sold in the market. These include Rosa Canina Fruit, Rosa Canina Flower Powder, and Rosa Canina Bud Extract. Rosa Canina Fruits are a lot of times marketed as a herbal remedy for the treatment of pain with osteoporosis, but this is not scientifically proven benefit. One study was made on humans to evaluate the effects of rosehip powder made from rosa canina fruit on cell senescence, skin wrinkling, 
and skin aging. In this study, humans drank, ingested the ingredient. In an eight-week study, rosy powder was compared to astaxanthin ingredient well-known remedy against wrinkles. The results showed that rosehip powder as well as astaxanthin significantly improved the depth of wrinkles, skin moisture and elasticity. So that is it, a full documentary on rosehip. Now you know all there is to know about this hybrid upcoming ingredient that is now seen more and more in the cosmetic industry. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for the upcoming video all about the Bomb Bomb Rosehip Serum which is an amazing rosehip product to start with. All the products and studies mentioned in the video are also linked in the description box below. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this video. Till next time, bye!